What's going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today we're going to talk to you about Fisker, the stock that never fails to keep life interesting. So I'm going to go over some of the current data points, what really prompted the spike yesterday, and potentially some things that people might be overlooking. Before I get into any of that, make sure I just hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So currently it is up 2.3%. So recovering from the dip that happened uh, early this morning, very little volume though. So, so far today, 38.2 million shares being traded, 134 is the average. Yesterday was a immense amount of volume, largely because of this. So Fisker shares surge as CEO confirms acquisition talks with four automakers. And in this article, there's quite a lot of things in here that is said. So again, some people might potentially overlook or misinterpret something because there is a couple key differences. Prior rumors, especially I think one of which was about Nissan, they were going to be helping Fisker. So providing 400 million in exchange for either a certain percentage in Fisker through common stock or whatever else. But this time around, Fisker does confirm that they're in talks with four automakers and those four automakers have signed NDAs. So don't anticipate to hear any rumors or anything, but it is for a takeover, not just to help. So essentially, Fisker wants to kind of throw up its hands and say, hey, you know what, just take over all of our debt and take over our current operations and you guys handle as going forward. So that is the biggest difference. And so essentially, if there is a full takeover, what does that mean for current Fisker shareholders? So that does mean that there would be a tentative offer. It would have to be approved by the board and as well as by the majority of the shareholders. And if so, then you'd get your shares taken away for X amount of um, price, right? Depending on what was approved. So definitely things could get very, very interesting. Also does confirm in here that if there isn't one of those four kind of stepping up automakers and coming to a deal, that they will be facing risks of closure this year. And so by saying this year, like it's somewhat more optimistic because I've done videos saying that essentially, you know what, they have like maybe three weeks from today, roughly, left of liquidity and that's based on what they've previously disclosed and just looking through how much they're burning through and everything logically three weeks so in reality the fact that he did say this year kind of shows that maybe there is some more wiggle room that they can obtain some capital through so still something very interesting that could be happening and i did see some other rumors essentially with all these spikes that have been happening Fisker has been diluting and obviously it's a lot more advantageous for any company to dilute at these levels versus here. And obviously this is just an example, but you guys get what I'm saying, right? The higher the price, the more money that they do get. Um, so I think in general, they might be using that to continue its operations for the foreseeable future because the fact that they do say this year, that does make me feel maybe it's in the next quarter or a quarter and a half or possibly even two quarters, which is kind of crazy. So in reality, I think a lot of people might be overlooking that as well as the fact that the whole takeover is different from the whole Nissan rumor. And again, there's a lot of different things that is said in here. And as far as I know, or why I read, this is just from a staff meeting. So all hands on staff meeting. So I don't believe it was official official, but no different than anything else. So far, at least in the past, all the rumors have turned out to be somewhat very accurate. Um, so you never know as well at the same time, maybe Nissan is coming back into the mix because like I said, at that time, Fisker's market cap was probably about 10 times or a little bit more than what it is currently now. So it is a little bit more advantageous for someone to want to take over Fisker right now versus back then, if that kind of makes sense. So who knows? We'll just have to wait and see what does come out. But this is a very, very interesting stock. But aside from all of that, though, today you do see shorts increasing about 1.5 million shares, give or take. So they're probably one of the reasons why it did go down first thing, or at least why it's been very volatile. Since then, they haven't done all that much. So it's giving the opportunity for Fisker to kind of move up higher. And just looking here, so if you are looking at trading Fisker with it at six cents and change, it is above this pivot point. So at least on a technical level and that standpoint, somewhat looking optimistic, take that with a grain of salt. I'm definitely not saying Fisker is a massive buy because of the technicals, 
But if you are looking at adding, then typically around strong supports is kind of a good place. So 5.4 cents, the next strong resistance will be 8.1. But it'll be very interesting the next couple weeks on what does come out. Is there going to be confirmation from obviously Fisker itself on a deal or is it going to be done through the trustee like how's the reorganization going there's a lot of different things that's kind of up in the air so I don't know a uh, very interesting stock like I said I do feel the fact that it did hover around that two cent range that is the true intrinsic value at least and so far it seems to be accurate for the most part so i think all in all pretty exciting stuff and hopefully something does come out sooner rather than later so let me know your thoughts have you been a buyer have you been selling fisker have you been swing trading it what have you been doing with fisker and as well when it comes down to these or i guess this latest rumor do you think it is valid do you think it's going to amount to anything or not what's your take don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that and as I always share with you, make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you seven fractional shares of the Mag7. So pretty kick-ass deal. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.